Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a video to your uh, presentation that you have created with LaTeX using the class Beamer. I will show you two ways of adding uh, a video to your slide. The first one is uh, using a video that you have locally on your computer. So if you click on this uh, image here, I'm sorry it's in Italian and I will change that the, the title of the slide. But if you click on this image here, you will see that automatically um, I'm using Foxy Reader. So why this message is appearing is that's for the main, for that reason. But we can select do not show this message again. So open. As you can see, this video was open here locally on my computer using the default media player. Alternatively, I will show you also how to link a YouTube video to your presentation. So again, we have a static image here on the slide. We can click on this slide here and we will open YouTube automatically. And this video will start playing on, your, on our computer. Okay, so I will show you both ways. I will show you the source code, how to add that image, how to add the link. And um, I will try to cover everything in this video. One last thing that I want to show you and I want to talk about uh, is about embedding uh, a video inside uh, the presentation. Unfortunately, you cannot, as far as I know, unfortunately, you cannot longer do it that uh, because uh, uh, Adobe is no longer supporting a uh, flash player. So before you could use uh, Media 9 or something like that uh, in order to add uh, and embed a video inside your presentation. However, at some side effects because eventually the presentation was becoming very big and um, but you know you cannot you can no longer do that. So I just want to let you know that if you find a way to embed a video into your presentation, maybe just leave a comment down below under the video. Okay, so uh, let me just one second cancel this image because I want to show you step by step what we need to do. So we are going to use this uh, presentation that uh, I've created uh, in my course. So I've uploaded a course uh, here on YouTube uh, in which I explain uh, step by step uh, how to add a table of content, uh, some sections, uh, list, introduction, columns, figures, tables, uh, and so forth. So I will not go over that again because I've already uploaded some other videos. So if you don't know how to get started with Beamer, just check my previous video, okay? But I'm assuming that you know already how to create a presentation with Beamer and you're here just to add a video into your presentation. So in order to do that, we will need to import two main packages. OK, so here at the top of the document under document class and you can do it before or after this use package. So underneath here, we are going to import two packages. One is called multimedia. And the second package that we're going to use, uh, again, use package. Uh, if I press enter, uh, automatically Overleaf helps me because it's how to complete the code. And the second one that we're going to use is hyperref. Okay, I will add the code, the source code uh, to the description in the video. So don't worry too much, just follow along with me. And uh, I will add the source code over there. Let me actually increase a bit the size of the font here so you can see better. So we just go down here and use list. So we double click here and overleaf automatically just goes to that slide. So under this use lists, uh, we are going to add a new slide. Okay. And again, if you want to know how to add a new slide, just check my previous video. Okay. So begin, we're going to add a frame. The frame title is a video on your PC. Okay, so this is our frame title, and uh, we are going to use uh, the command uh, called centering, simply because uh, we want that everything is uh, centered inside our uh, inside our uh, frame. And uh, now we are going to add uh, the movie. So we are going to add this command, which is called movie, which comes from the previous package that you have Im imported, which is multimedia. And uh, this will allow as our computer to know that once we click on the video, the video has to open uh, from um, our local repository and from our computer. Okay, so movie square bracket and inside the square bracket, uh, we, are, uh, we have to specify how we want to open the, the video. So we want to add external viewer. Okay, 
and then we are going to add include graphic the graphic you don't really have to add it but i think it's nicer so you you have something to click on and usually I use the thumbnail of that video or you can create an image that refers to that video or you can just take a screenshot of that video and can use that as an image okay so let me add the graphic so we use the command include graphics okay here we are so inside the square brackets we are going to specify the width of the image which we want it equal to the text uh, height and we are going to say comma keep aspect ratio because we want to keep the aspect ratio of the image and now we will have to specify the image that we want to um, show okay so i have the image here on downloads so it's called image and it's a png file so let's go here, let's uh, show this tab, let's go in figures, upload, and let's drag that file into here. So image, yes, let's drag it here. Okay, now we have our image, we can see here is the thumbnail of the video that I've uploaded in Italian, but uh, we can see main text. So here we can find the image by just typing I am and uh, automatically overleaf uh, will find the relative path of that image which is in figures uh, for the um, slash image.jpg and after that we need to open another curly bracket and we need to specify the name of the video okay so just bear with me for a second this is very important so we need to look at the video that we have uh, on our computer which is called video underscore beamer and is a mp4 file as you can see here from my screen we will not upload this video here in overleaf because we cannot if the file is too big so let's just have a look video beamer dot mp4 okay so let's try to upload the file so we go upload uh, select from your computer or we can drag it so we get the video video beamer we try to upload it and upload fail because the file is too big okay and it's only 54 megabytes so sometimes you want to show a video which is even bigger okay but don't worry we just have to specify the name of the file and let's go compile okay so let's compile uh, we should have a new slide here now we should see a new slide okay so there is an error because uh, i have uh, um, probably done something wrong usually is uh, just a missing of uh, a parenthesis so and frame movie so just let me check okay so let me just copy the code from here it's begin frame okay and frame so video on the computer and let's uh, just to recompile <coughs> probably just a curly bracket was just missing okay so here we have uh, the um, a video on the computer and here we have our image of course if i click here nothing happens uh, and actually overleaf uh, is smart enough that it's telling us that the, the file does not exist okay but you don't worry about that so just uh, um, important that you have put the right name of the file in the right path so let's go and download the pdf now so let me actually close the previous presentation that we, we had so now we go and download let's delete this file and let's press on uh, download pdf here at the top in overleaf of course if you are compiling these uh, on your local computer you will not have all these issues uh, because in your local folder you can have both the video and the code to compile the file but let's go now in downloads here so we can open the presentation doesn't matter if you open it uh, with uh, foxy reader or adobe so if i click here now on the video as you can see the icon the cursor changes i click I can say do not show this message again and now the video is appearing here on my computer so here as you can see the video now is playing and i can just uh, show it as a normal video okay so this is the first option that i want to show you if the video is on the computer just again i want to stress this because it's important that the video has to be in the same folder and as uh, if you want to i can show you with adobe uh, adobe, adobe 
and Acrobat Reader, same things happen. Actually, with Adobe, it's a little bit worse because every time it asks you if you want to open this file and you cannot uh, close this window, okay? So during a presentation, it could be a little bit more annoying. But again, same things happen, and now you can see the video, okay? So let's go back to uh, our overleaf online, and I want to show you the second way of adding a video. The second way of adding a video into your presentation is by adding a link to YouTube, okay? So we start with the begin, okay? And we want to have a frame, okay? Frame title is uh, YouTube video. So we are adding this uh, slide just um, under the YouTube video, under the previous one. So now here, we're going to begin a figure. So begin, in this case, a figure. And again, if you want to know how to add a figure, we have already added just here at the top. But if you want to know how to do that, uh, just check my previous video. So include graphics. Let's just go and copy exactly what we used here. So we copy all the command, include graphics here. And don't worry too much because I will put the code down in the description. So let's just recompile and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, we have YouTube video. If I click here, nothing happens. Okay, just want to show you another thing. I don't want to show the caption because this is going to be a video, it's not really a figure. So let me just delete this caption and recompile. And while I recompile, I just would like to ask you if you have a second, just to put uh, um, if you like the video and if you like this type of content, uh, just please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps uh, and it really helps me understanding that you're liking uh, what I'm doing. Uh, and um, yeah, it really motivates me to put uh, to upload more uh, videos. So here, as you can see, there is nothing. So YouTube video, we cannot do anything. It's just a static image. And uh, what we need to do is to wrap all this code with uh, href, okay? Href will have two uh, curly brackets. In the first curly bracket, we just put the link to the video on YouTube that we want to show you. Of course, you will have to change that. And then we remove the second part of the curly bracket and we wrap everything which is related to the figure. So let's recompile that and you will see that now we can actually click on the image here and the video will open. So if I click here, now the video is actually playing on YouTube and uh, is uh, that's very handy. So you can just, uh, and this also works uh, if you download the file locally. So let's quickly do that. So let's go in downloads, uh, just delete this file that was the previous file that we created and let's download this PDF. Sorry, just taking a second to download the PDF. It shouldn't take two minutes hopefully. And uh, okay. So once the PDF is going to be downloaded, we can actually open it with either of um, any PDF reader of your uh, liking. So we open it and now we have video on the computer, but we also have YouTube video. So if I click here, again, this opens the video on uh, YouTube. I really hope you found this video interesting. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, any suggestions, just leave it down uh, below in the video comment area. And again, if you can, just uh, if you like this video, please uh, like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for listening.